did not plan for that happened shortly after you came into office was there was a rise in crime. And this summer in particular, crime uh, homicides were up 43% over last year. Uh, what do you think is causing that? Well, I was with um, our new attorney uh, general and big city mayors from all over our country. And what we see is for many, a myriad of reasons, not just one, cities all around our country are experiencing a spike in violence. Um, and we have dealt with spikes. Uh, we have a great woman who runs our police department with an outstanding force of police. We have community members who want to lock arms with police. Um, and we're also investing in our youth and human services and jobs for, for youth um, to work on that. Uh, and one thing, we think our city is going to be in the forefront of the community policing issue in the months to come. I made an investment in this budget uh, that all of our patrol officers would be equipped with body cameras. Um, so we're attracting, uh, attacking, I should say, and making sure uh, that we're making our neighborhoods safer and stronger with a, a real comprehensive approach. When you announced some of these changes, there, was, there were some protesters at this press conference, and things got tense and they got rowdy, and you sort of put your foot down and you said, I will not stand down or be scared away. Right. Uh, what, what came of that, or what was that moment like for you? Uh, well, it's, it's difficult. Uh, first of all, we had a very difficult situation. We were in a community that had experienced a 90% increase um, in violent crime. And uh, we presented, and we were there to open up a new recreation center in that community. Um, and the people who were being most affected by the violence were having their moment to talk about the issues um, overshadowed by people who didn't want to be constructive. What it taught me, uh, and I've learned in, in years of politics, is uh, when you know what your center is and what is right and you've made a decision, uh, you go out there and you tell people what you know is right. And that's, that's what people expect um, from their chief executive, and that's uh, what, what will make them get behind you. Some of the protests were linked to the nationwide movement that was prompted by events in Ferguson and Baltimore, uh, Baltimore so close to us here. Yeah. But you have not had an issue like that. Do you think or fear that that could happen at some point? Well, we think um, over the years, now we haven't always had great police and community relations. When I was growing up in Washington, it was a very different experience with the police and communities, but I think a lot of people have worked long and hard to build, uh, to build trust. Um, but what I know is that it's, it's fragile. And you always have to uh, make sure you're investing in training of officers and that officers are in communities when uh, in good times, um, and that uh, officers and police get, uh, officers in our community members get to know each other. Uh, so we are, uh, we're grateful uh, that we have a, a force that respects the community, but we know we have to always be mindful of it.